What's up everybody? My name's Morbid Medic and welcome to a brand new RS3 Iron Man Progress series. Um, over the past few years I've been basically just playing OSRS and I've seen some of the recent updates that are coming to RS3 and just some of the graphical updates in this game. I mean what can I say? It does look beautiful. I want to give it a try. I mean this is the game that I grew up playing over 16 years ago, 17 years ago. And believe it or not, I've never maxed an RS3 account or an OSRS account, so I'm going to give it a go. So we made ourselves an Iron Man account here, freshly a birth rope, and we are just going to go into this head first and try to figure it out. All right, where do we start? So I think I'm going to reference the efficiency guide a lot just because it's going to help me get going here because I haven't played this game in so long. Uh, first step though, we need to get a Wicked Hood and then go over, pick some flax and unlock the Taverly Lodestone. I didn't know you got farming XP from picking flax, so uh, you guys can expect me to be 99 farming here in about 10 minutes. All right, we spun all our flax, got ourselves five crafting, look at that. And hello, Taverly. Yeah, are you going to kill me? Hey, and the blood pack, first quest done. Uh, I think that gets us like two in all the uh, combat skills there. Let's see, yep, look at that. Oh, we got base twos, baby. We gotta get this guy's head back. And we can say goodbye to the restless ghost. We got all these bones. And a prayer XP lamp. What's that get us? We got nine prayer, look at that. Hello, Lumbridge. Look at this, you got all these little eggs around here and then you got this gigantic super duper egg. Yep, that's a classic. 300 cooking XP. We got ourselves four quest points. Hello, Barak. All right, and so begins our first like kind of micro grind here. I'm gonna get 40 magic and 40 ranged on these trolls. So first trip, we got like two to 13 magic, and look, we got a nice amount of herbs there. Yeah, I'm gonna save them all, and that is 40 magic. But even cooler. Look at all these herbs. Now I'm not sure if it's hard to get herbs in RS3 or not, but uh, look at this. Oh, jeez. I mean, if that's not good, let me know, but I, th I feel like that's good. All right, we're gonna do it all again and get 40 ranged. So we are currently sitting at 20 ranged and I remembered that we have daily challenges that I have to finish before the clock resets in two, just under two hours. So I'm going to go ahead and knock these out real quick. So we're going to start with the crafting. So I'm going to run over here to these cows and beat them up for their hides. I don't remember, but doesn't tanning hides cost money? I don't think I got charged for that. There we go. We made five pairs of gloves. Let's turn that in and see what we get. Oh. Ooh, got ourselves seven crafting an hour and 43 minutes until we get new ones mining and smithing rework will forever be my favorite update in this game when they first came out i jumped on to see what it was oh my god this is this is what we needed all right there's all of our daily challenges done let's see what levels we're getting we got four smithing and five mining so after i completed those i had this little alert down here on this quest icon i'm like what the hell is this we got a, a reward I, what do you get? I don't think any of that is useful to me. A dungeoneering wild card. Is that for, what is this? Consuming this item within Daemonheim will allow you to get 50% more dungeoneering XP and tokens for that floor that you are on. Okay, so that is useful. <laughs> Finally. I'm not gonna lie, that took quite, quite some time, but there is uh, 40 ranged. Our game clock just reset too, so we should have some new challenges. Yeah, we got to log out to refresh those. Um, look at all these herbs. So if I did the math, it would be around uh, 2,000 kills between 40 range and 40 magic. And from that, let's look at the loot. Look at all those herbs. Oh my goodness. There's so many. Look at that, 41 run ours. Oh my God. We got two mimic tokens as well. And then we got a bunch of spirit rubies and emeralds and sapphires and a bunch of air runes I'm not gonna lie it was kind of worth it okay so our daily challenges did reset um i don't think i'm gonna do them right now i want to start pounding out some quests uh no particular order we're just gonna start questing our little asses off just because i love these quests the first two i'm gonna do is violet is blue and violet is blue too 
Um, if you've never done these quests, they're free to play. Please do them. They're just, I, I don't know how to explain it. These quests are, are awesome. Well, seeing as RS is a tick-based game, this can be a little annoying here. So let's see how many times we fail this. Oh, I'll be goddamn. Did I just, did I just get it first try? See, I've never gotten that first try. Damn. I'm eating my words on that one, boys. Dude, look at this. This is not, this is the most adorable quest. Now we gotta name our sled. Hmm. I think we're gonna name it Sleddy McSled Face. <laughs> there she goes on her invisible sled. And there it is. Violet is blue is done. We should be getting some XP lamps. And we're gonna throw those right in the farming. One. Where's farming? There it is. Got one more. And one last one. What farming levels I guess? And ooh, it's 16 farming. Damn. Nice. Alright, now we're gonna do Violet is Blue 2. Start this one, we gotta talk to the OG, Posty P. My guy. Violet has had a bucket on her head for like half of this quest. <laughs> we're gonna get up here and just launch these snow implings. See you later, bub. <laughs> And just like that, Violet is Blue 2 is done. We got ourselves three more lamps. I think we're gonna use them, one on construction. We're gonna use one on summoning. And we're gonna use one on fletching. And these are 4K a piece, so this is gonna be some gains here. Look at that. 19 summoning, 19 construction, and 19 fletching. Okay, next order of business is going to be Druidic Ritual and Wolf Whistle. And then a couple more other random quests. And there it is. The Druidic Ritual is done, gifting us 250 Herblor XP. Does that get us three Herblor? And next, the quest that has changed probably as much as Tutorial Island on this fucking game. Wolf Whistle. These trolls ain't eating nobody on my watch. Or that thing's watch. Whoever's watched, they ain't eating nobody. Damn, son, he's beat the shit. <laughs> there it is, another classic. Wolf Whistle is done. Got us 11 quest points. Hey, 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 what's up, Folly? Oh, what's up, Edgy? There it is, Gunner's Ground is done. That gets us to 10 crafting, and we're gonna go ahead and use this on construction. Does that get us a construction level? No. Ooh, the creepy drainer lodestone. All right, let's get back in here and, uh, make Ernest normal again. There's Ernest the chicken done. I can remember as a kid just doing this quest probably a million times. Uh, we got ourselves 20 quest points. Look at that. Creeping up on 25 to get our first reward from May. Now is that goulash or is that just a really big ugly pancake bouncing around in a cauldron? <laughs> Yo, it's Port Sarim. Wet the way is done. Now we get 10 portions of that XP pancake. And here's our last bowl. Going on to fletching. And what levels do we get? We got 20 construction, 21 fletching, and 17 farming. So currently we're sitting at about 22 quest points. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do goblin diplomacy because that'll put us well over our 25 quest point requirement to go get our 250k from May. So I haven't the slightest goddamn clue why. But when I was growing up and I was younger playing this game, this quest always intimidated the shit out of me, and I, I have no idea why. It's literally the easiest quest in the game. Yep, leave it to the goblins to not know what they want. So that's goblin diplomacy done, literally 10 seconds. We're gonna go ahead and head over to May now, see what she has in store for us. Here we go, May, give me my stuff. Open shop, claim rewards. Yep, we got our dice, die, whatever you wanna call it. Pull that baby. What did we get? Ooh, black plate skirt T. Worthless. Oh, look at that. 250k. Alright, guys. I think that's a good spot to stop episode one. We've done a lot in this episode. Um, I'm exhausted. It's like one or two o'clock in the morning right now. Um, what is on my cat? Why did he's got a weird ass tech? You see that? That's weird. Whatever. Um, yeah, I think that's good for episode one. I just want to thank everybody for watching this far if you got this far um, If you could just go ahead and like the video it would really help and you know I worked hard on this and yeah Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next one